Now, the owners of a local furniture store that went up in flames say that they are smiling for the first time since this happened nine days ago. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez talked to them about moving forward. The demolition process here is moving quick. The four walls are nearly gone as debris is getting moved by the truckload. The owner of the furniture store that once occupied this warehouse tells me that he has found a new warehouse. The paperwork is signed. He's now just waiting for the keys. We're excited about it. First time I've been excited in a week about anything. That and, fleeting uh, smile is one we and, haven't uh, seen from Stephen Byer uh, in a while. Last Tuesday, this massive fire that could be seen for miles destroyed his furniture inventory valued at around $1 million. Nobody has any idea what started it. Just days before, a weekend storm had already ruined most of his livelihood. And now... We have nothing to move. Everything was lost. However, the community and his partners are stepping up to help Buyer, who has been in the furniture business for nearly 40 years. They're literally walking through the doors saying, we love you guys, we've shopped with you for years, we saw what happened, and we're here to support you and help you get back on your feet. It's, and I'm not talking one or two, I'm talking like 100 people. Since the fire, buyers searched far and wide for a new warehouse, eventually choosing this one at 5th and Washington in KCK. It'll be all of our inventory for the showroom. Um, that, uh, you know, help replenish our stock and put us back in business. The new warehouse won't be open to the public for some time, but so far he's received four new furniture shipments. At this point, I'd like to put it behind me and move forward and get merchandise in and get back to doing business. Buyer says he plans to move the new merchandise into the new warehouse as early as this weekend. Reporting along Southwest Boulevard, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. Andres, thanks, and fire investigators are still looking into what caused that fire, but say we may never know because that building was so badly damaged. Some of